Nick, why don't you take it away? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Stephen. Um, excited to do this. Yeah, thank you all for joining us. I got we got quite a crowd here, and I appreciate everybody who has their cameras turned on. That's always exciting to see. Um, I know we, we've all been gotten used to Zoom over the years, uh, but it is very helpful when I can see all of you. So thank you for that. Um, so we're going to move pretty quickly today. All right. We got a lot to cover. Uh, we we kind of made a relatively bold claim when we put this uh, out there, which is that I'm going to show you how to create a video from scratch. Um, we're also going to get it up and running as an ad on Facebook. And we're going to do all that. And we got about 55 minutes left. Right. So we're going to get right into this. So we're going to start out, um, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that, that we have available uh, through Business Video School, because this is part of what we do, right? We, we streamline the process for making video content, right? So there's a couple things, I'm just going to show them to you really quickly here to kind of get the ball rolling, um, that we've developed that make this process a lot easier. And I fully invite you to rip us off as much as you'd like to, right? So if you want to go out and you want to kind of recreate some of what you're seeing here today, um, go for it, right? It's going to save you a lot of time in the future when it comes to making your content, or obviously we'd love you to check us out and you'll get access to everything you're seeing, right? So first thing I'm going to mention to you, I'm actually going to give you two things, sort of two options uh, that we typically have available for making a video from scratch, right? So I'm going to kind of put myself in your shoes for just a minute and I'm going to pretend like, look, I need to get a video ad up and running. I want to attract some sellers. I'm assuming most of you are real estate agents. That's kind of our specialty, right? Um, so we're going to go in that direction. So I have two different tools that I can work with to get that started. The first is what we call our video recipes. So the idea behind a video recipe is that we wanted to provide scripts to all of our students. We wanted to be able to give everybody um, everything, as much of everything as possible that you need to make a video from scratch, right? So we can't make the video for you. The most important part of your video content is this. It's your face. Your face must be in your videos for this to work anywhere near as well as it can, right? There's other kinds of video out there, but that's what we, what we focus on, right? Because the face is what builds familiarity. Familiarity is what builds trust. And that's what ultimately leads to people feeling that parasocial relationship with you, right? So we cannot make the video for you, but I can do as much up to that point as possible. And so that's the idea behind a video recipe, right? So we want to focus on sellers today. And so what I can do is I can come into the library here. And I'm going to grab a home seller education video. And so today we're going to be working with, and you probably saw this in the uh, the post for the Zoom today, um, how much does it cost to sell your home? So this is a video that's going to help our customer, our prospective customer, understand what it might cost to sell their house, right? Now, I do want to address something before we get into this script, because this script is going to reference some numbers and that can be a little tricky right now, right? With the, with the lawsuits that have started to emerge, um, there's some sort of newfound advice. And so I'm gonna actually show you a slight adjustment that I'm also going to make to this script in order to make sure I'm making the best possible video for the moment. So when you're looking at here, th this is right here. I'll play just a couple seconds of it, just so you know what this is. So you're thinking you'd like to sell your house and naturally you're wondering how much money you'd make doing so. Makes sense. But in order to calculate your profit, you'll first need to estimate your expenses. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to stop it there. You can watch the whole thing when you're using our tools, obviously. That's Michael Glazer. He's one of our co-founders here in Business Video School. And he makes a lot of our video recipes. He's also very compelling on camera. I love watching Michael's videos. So that's part of what we provide here is we try to give you an example of the video so you can see how we created it, right? Now, the most important part of this is the script. And so if I click right here, this is going to download my PDF, which contains the script as well as a bunch of other information. All right. So I'm going to show that to you next. I already downloaded it. I already opened it up. I'm just trying to keep us moving as quickly as possible. Where is it? There it is. All right. So this is the document that every single one of these video recipes has. It includes instructions on how to make the video, um, some tips and tricks. One of my favorite parts of this is if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you even have a post that you can use. So this is going to be up to, to Steven and the street text folks if they want to use that later or not, or they want to write something from scratch. But if you're setting something up, if you're running an ad, if you're doing a post on social media, you don't even necessarily have to think about what to say when you share the video, right? Now, slightly above that, which is where I probably should have started, I'll come back up to it, is the script for the video itself. So this, this is a video recipe. And if you want, you I'm just going to kind of leave this on the screen for a second while I talk about it. If you want, you can read through it, kind of get familiar with it. This is a relatively long video. Um, this is the kind of video where if people watch the majority of it, you've got them, right? They're interested. That means they're spending a fair amount of time with you. They've really invested in that relationship. 
Um, and that, that can be really powerful, right? There's lots of different kinds of video. There's lots of different uses for video. Some should be short. Some should be a little bit longer. This one's a little bit on the kind of medium range, I would argue, right? It's, a, it's gonna be a vertical form video. Um, it's gonna probably clock in around two minutes total in length. So for a TikTok or a reel, that's on the longer side, but we are actually seeing people spend more and more time watching videos that are longer length on those platforms, okay? So we are also kind of moving in that direction. So this is one option. This is the option I'm gonna show you how to execute on here over the next couple of minutes. I also want to mention, though, that if you look at this and you go, I don't like that, um, I wanted to be able to start from scratch and do anything under, and under the sun that I can possibly imagine, um, you can do that too, right? So one of the things that we have available through Business Video School, and I'm not going to get into this much, I'm just sort of showing it to you right now, is this uh, TikTok video planner for real estate agents, right? So TikTok reels, short form video, they're all kind of the same. And this will create a script from scratch on any topic you can imagine, right? So you come in here, you tell it you're a real estate agent. Uh, what's your target audience? You want to work with downsizers, first-time home buyers. What do those people look like? What are the things they're interested in? That will generate you a script from scratch. So this is cutting edge stuff. We just started to put these tools out. I'm just kind of mentioning it to you because I want you to remember that AI can help you write these scripts, right? It's pretty amazing. So there is no more excuse. And this is somewhat about what we have in our school. I want to show that to you. But what I'm really ultimately trying to do is call you out a little bit and say, look, if you've ever been been held back by, I don't know what my video should be about, I don't know what to say, what topic should I cover? Any of those questions should not be a problem anymore, right? Every single day I'm hearing from more people that are using AI to kind of get over those issues. And so every day there's more people making video content, right? So that's one tool we have. On the other side of the screen, you'll also see image generator for small businesses. And this is um, a little bit newer. It's a tool that I just was working on even this morning, um, but we're going to try using it to make our video just a little bit better here in just another minute. Okay. So let's get into this. First thing I got to do is I'm going to go back to my recipe and I got to get this recipe onto my phone. All right. So that's, that's the first thing I got to get the script onto my phone. Now you can access business video school from your phone, right? So if you want to just log in from there, we do have an app and you could copy this from there. Um, I like to work on my computer anytime I'm editing text. And so that's where I'm going to start, right? So I'm going to copy this out. I'm going to go over to my email and I'm just going to email this to myself to get it over onto my device. Uh, just a quick note here. If you do end up accessing the script at some point, there's one more paragraph on the second page uh, because it's a little bit longer than normal. So the first thing I tend to do here is I come over and I paste this into my email, right? So again, if you generated this from AI or you got it from our video recipe, this is probably something you're going to want to do. Now, before I go any further, I'm gonna take a look at this script, right? And I'm gonna make sure that I review anything in here that I want to make adjustments to. You wanna customize it, you wanna add any additional details, something that's timely, whatever it is you have in mind, right? I mentioned to you that th this is gonna mention that the this uh, the commission tends to hover around the five to 7% range of the sale price. And then I'm gonna add here and is negotiable. Okay, that word that that phrase was not in this script. So just to be kind of on the the safe side of talking about these things, I'm just adding this to this particular script. You can make any other changes you want, obviously, right? Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it a step further while I'm still here on this screen, just to make sure I have my script ready to go. This is again a fairly long script. So I've done a lot of videos. I could probably read a lot of the script without making many mistakes. I'm going to give myself some wiggle room though, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. Before I send this to myself, and again, this is just because it's easier to edit on my computer, I'm going to add some paragraph breaks, all right? So you kind of look at the script and I'm just sort of throwing these in here. I'm gonna hit enter a couple times there. Um, let's do one here. And this doesn't really matter if you're looking at this going like, well, how is he deciding where he's doing these? I'm just sort of picking the space right before a sentence. And you'll see why in just a moment, right? So once I get this over onto my phone, you're going to understand why I wanted to add these spaces while I was on my computer, okay? So there we go. That's the script. We're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and send this over. Now I need to switch. So I'm going to stop that share. And, and there's a lot of technology going on right now, folks, all right? So please bear with me if anything goes wrong as I do this, okay? Uh, I'm going to switch over to my phone and I'm going to try to share my screen. So here I am on my phone. I've got the script pulled up, right? So this part's pretty simple. I'm just going to hold my finger down on the screen and I'm going to copy the content of this email, right? So this is the entire script. Highlight that all over there, scroll down and 
copy this out of here, all right? I, I know sometimes this kind of stuff feels like, yeah, okay, you're just showing me how to get this over to my phone. This is a lot of the stuff we get questions on though, right? Is how do I transfer files back and forth? Um, how can I be efficient about the way that I do my editing? So I've got my script. Now I'm jumping over into CapCut and I, I'm gonna kind of adjust my setup just a little bit here so that, uh, cause I'm about to pop, show up on my phone screen in just a minute more. And I'm gonna click on the camera button inside of CapCut, all right? So if you don't use CapCut, I love CapCut. I think CapCut is, uh, is an incredible editor. There's so many things you can do with it. It is owned by ByteDance, same company that owns TikTok, which is a Chinese company, right? So I know some people have some qualms about that. I just want you to know that that's the case. So if that's okay with you, then this is probably the best editing app out there. And because the company is enormous and, and just wants to continue growing in the space, they just keep adding cool features, right? So like every week or two, there's something new you can do here in CapCut. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on camera. And there we go, right? So now you can see me on the screen. And uh, just I'm, I'm going to make a relatively simple video here, right? And, and apologize that it's not going to be perfectly synced up, okay? So what you see me do on the screen might be a little bit behind the voice you're hearing, um, but just bear with me, all right? So here I am, right? I'm, I'm on screen. I'm kind of situated. Now, I'll tell you right now, I have a big old light right there, okay? So for those of you that were talking about, I don't like how I look on camera, you know, I have some trouble with that. Lighting is crucial, all right? The direction of the light and the quality of the light. If you don't have a professional light or, you know, just something, you know, a camera light, video light, um, just turn toward a window, right? Use natural light, but just make sure it's in front of you. So I have the phone right here. The light is right there. It's basically right above the phone. And so therefore you can see my face is, is actually pretty evenly lit. You could go from one side to the other to give you a little bit of dramatic uh, look if that's what you're going for, all right? The other stuff you wanna look at here inside of CapCut is you, uh, you wanna make sure that you're centered correctly, right? And so, uh, oh, and as I'm doing this, you know what? I, I missed a step. I knew I was gonna do this, right? I told you there's a lot of steps we're doing here. So I'm gonna take a step back real quick. We're gonna come back to the screen here in just one more moment. Because I realized as I'm looking at the editing screen there, I need an image to put behind myself, right? So you, you don't have to have that, right? That's kind of a bonus thing. Um, but I do think we have time for it. So we're gonna go ahead and try this real quick. And this is this is almost just kind of fun stuff at this point, but let me come back again. I apologize for that. Let me let me go ahead and show you one last step I would do here. So I've got this, this script that I'm gonna work with, right? I'm gonna try to attract a, a seller with my video. Now I could shoot this just sitting in my office like I am, and that's going to be fine, right? Like I have a nice looking backdrop, I'm properly lit. That's all great. I think that's, you know, don't don't worry about needing this step. But for those of you that are a little bit more advanced that want to see something um, as kind of an additional step, I have this image generator that we built, right? And so I'm going to just go ahead and, and generate an image here. I typed this in earlier. So I'm a realtor and I want a big luxury modern home in St. Louis, Missouri, right? Now, again, these are the kinds of tools that exist out there already, right? We're not the only company that has these. We like to give these to our, our members just as something where they can just kind of go in and grab it as they need. Man, look at this place. This is quite the house. And then like, look how big this car is versus those cars. It's a little silly. I'm gonna get another one there, but you can see the point, right? It's got the arch in the background. Looks like that's the, uh, the old courthouse building, famous courthouse building downtown. So that's all pretty accurate. Um, it's a little a little bit over the top, so I'm going to do it one more time. But this is the kind of stuff you can work with back and forth. Now, why do I want this? I'm going to show you in CapCut how to put this behind yourself, right? So you can basically give yourself a completely custom background for your video. And the reason that's so valuable, the reason that's worth doing, is that it's going to stop the scroll, right? It's going to get somebody's attention. So here we go. This one's a, a little kind of similar to that other one. It doesn't look necessarily like it's in St. Louis. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Obviously, you could spend as much as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one and we're going to work with it, right? So once I have the image I want, I right click on it and I'm going to save this image as, and then we just go ahead and save that to the computer. I'm just going to call it house for now. All right, so back to the emails. Uh, let's see, here's the email I sent myself. I'm going to go ahead and reply to that and I'm going to attach this file to it. All right, so I apologize. That took just a second longer than I intended, but here we go, all right? So now I've got this background. I'm gonna go ahead and send this over to myself. Let me grab it on my phone and then we'll switch the screen share one more time. A little bit of back and forth here, but hey, you know, when you're making videos, this is the kind of stuff you gotta deal with. Let me get that downloaded to my phone and I'll get back on to CapCut here. 
Yeah. Okay. We're ready to go. So one more time, switching screen sharing. All right. So here we are back on the phone screen. We're going to go into CapCut and let me show you a couple steps that I need to uh, go back over with you. All right. So first thing we're going to want to do here is you can see right here at the bottom, there are some pre settings, 15, 60, and three minutes. This is a longer video. Make sure you switch to three minutes. If you don't do that, it may cut you off as you're recording your video, which would be very bad, right? Um, next thing we're going to do is you see over here where it says effects. So let's go ahead and get that image that I was talking about. So I'm going to click on effects. Now it's going to start over here on, on techniques. I'm going to switch to green screen. Oh, by the way, I'm on an Android device. So if this looks different than your CapCut app, you might be on a different kind of phone, right? It's going to be a little different on Apple, but a lot of these features will be the same. So the, what we want here is this one right there. So I don't know if you can really see where my finger clicks on the screen, but it's the second of the green screen options, all right? It's got like a picture and then a little down arrow below it. If I click on that, look at that, right? It got rid of the background. So, and, and it's not perfect, right? You get a little bit of sort of artifacting around you, um, but it's not bad, it's, it's pretty reliable. And I think if you also put yourself in front of a solid color wall and all that kind of stuff, like if I turn off that light behind me, it'd probably be a little bit better. It's got a couple default images and then here you go. You can also select one from your phone, okay? So there we go. Now I've got my luxury look at home behind me. And like I said, I mean, again, you could spend more time on this if you want. Um, now I can also use my two fingers and I can, you can see what's saying on the screen here. I can move myself around, right? So I can make myself smaller. I can put myself in the corner, whatever you want. Now, I don't really want to make myself uh, any smaller. I'm just going to kind of leave it as is. Let's blow that back up. But it does give you a little bit of control in terms of the appearance of the uh, the file that you're creating here. So let me just... Get that back to where it was. There we go. All right. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and record our video, right? So back to that process earlier where I showed you uh, my script and I made some edits and then I added some, some spaces to it. This is why, okay? We're going to click that option right there. That's the teleprompter button. And that's going to open up the teleprompter. And let me actually, we're going to click on that, that icon right in the middle. It looks like a pencil. And we're going to clear this out. And I'm going to hold this down and paste what I had copied before. Or is it now gone? Okay, I guess I got to go get it again. One more time. Now, you may have noticed, I'll just talk about this as I'm copying this out again. There is also an AI script generating feature in CapCut, which is pretty handy, right? So um, I like the, the pre-setup tools and, and like inside of, uh, for instance, inside the chat GPT, I have those those things already kind of preset. So they know who I am. They know how what I do works. And so it's more informed. But these AI tools are popping up everywhere, right? Once I got my script in here, I click on done. Before I start reading this, there, there's also a setting here. And this is the kind of stuff you're going to want to mess around with, right? Read a few words. I tried to get this uh, sort of preset earlier. Um, but you can adjust your speed. You can also adjust the size and even the color. So if it's easier for you to see it, if it's a different color, you can make those adjustments, right? So I'm done with those settings. Those look good. And then one other thing I'll show you here before I get started is if I scroll down on this, you'll see that these spaces that I added to the script earlier are here, right? And I'm actually going to show you that, that, that you can, as you're recording this, uh, those spaces are going to give you flexibility. So if you're the kind of person who's going to stumble over every fifth word or so, or you're going to have some trouble reading a script, those spaces are going to make it a lot easier because you're actually going to break the recording into separate pieces, right? So that, that's the idea here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is always fun to do, you know, in front of a big live crowd of people, right? I mean, most of us, when you record, you're all on your own. So please bear with me if I do make any mistakes. Um, so a couple of things we want to do. We want to get situated right in the center of the screen, right? I wanna see that that luxury home just a little bit kind of peeking over my shoulder. Um, generally you want your face, you know, somewhat in the middle. A lot of times kind of the bigger you are, the better, but I wanna give a little space to make sure that house shows up. You can also scroll this up to get the words right up there at the top. Unfortunately, this is the only thing I don't like about the teleprompter and cap cut is you can't make it any higher. So it doesn't quite look like you're making perfect eye contact. I think it's okay, right? Any kind of video is better than no video. So we're gonna go ahead and get started recording here, right? So let me let me do this. One, one more thing I'll show you. This is just sort of a, an extra tip. You don't necessarily need this, but if you click on that icon right there, it's a timer. That will give you three seconds. You can switch it to, to seven and then uh, and turn it off. 
I'm going to switch it to three. It'll give me a three second countdown. And then let me open up my teleprompter again. All right. So let's give this a whirl here. It's going to take a few minutes to record. Um, so, you know, bear with me. Don't laugh at me too much. Whatever. You can comment in the chat um, if you'd like to. All right. Here we go. So you're thinking you'd like to sell your house. And naturally, you're wondering how much money you'll make doing so. Makes sense. But in order to calculate your profit, you'll first need to estimate your expenses. Yes, it does cost money to sell your house. Let's take a look at an overview of some of those costs. Remember, your specific state or location will ultimately determine your final costs. This is more of a general guideline. Now, I'm going to stop there, right? Because this is what's cool about CapCut. I got through that. I think I did fine, right? Maybe you don't. You can give me your input if you'd like, but I think that was fine for what we're doing here today. Um, I could have kept reading, right? But there would have been a gap there. And that's okay, because I can edit those gaps out. It's not hard to do. I'm going to stop it, just sort of pretend like I'm a little bit overwhelmed, right? I want get to get my catch my breath here. Um, and what's cool now is, again, now this next one, I can, I can do the same thing. If you wanted, I can go and turn that countdown timer on, everything, right? So let me actually do that. It's still actually on, so we're good to go there. So let me, let me scroll this up just a little bit. So it starts right at the top. And this is going to allow me to then go into my second uh, portion of this video, right? So you can put as many of those breaks in there uh, as you want. All right, there we go. Adam made a little cameo for us. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and do the second portion. And I'm probably going to move a little faster on, on these next couple. Your first set of costs is your real estate agent's commission, assuming you're using an agent. This hovers around the 5 to 7% range of the sale price and is negotiable, so it's certainly a factor to consider. It's also worth considering what a licensed agent brings to the table for that cost. If you get a good one, that commission is more than worth it and the increased sales price you should see, in addition to the fewer headaches you'll experience from having someone walk through a complicated transaction. It's obviously up to you to decide whether to use a real estate agent when selling, but just know that more often than not, you usually come out, oh, see, I made a mistake there. So I'm going to stop. And this is where, you know, I, I, I let it go. I should have paused it, right? But I could just delete each of the segments. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to click this back button, the delete button, and it says discard last clip. And I click process, right? And actually, it even moved my script back to where it was. So I'm going to stop at, at each of those intersections like I should have. I was getting a little cocky there. Um, let me go ahead and start again here. Your first set of costs is your real estate agent's commission, assuming you're using an agent. This hovers around the 5 to 7% range of the sale price and is negotiable, so it's certainly a consideration. It's also worth considering what a licensed agent brings to the table for that cost. If you get a good one, that commission is more than worth it in the increased sale price you should see. In addition to the fewer headaches you'll experience from having someone walk you through a complicated transaction. Okay, next one. That one went, I think, fine. It's obviously up to you to decide whether to use a real estate agent when selling. But just know that more often than not, you usually come out ahead when you do. Next, you'll want to factor in inspections and repairs. Home inspections are anywhere from four to $700 and repairs, well, that's on a case-by-case -case basis. You'll need to evaluate your situation and determine how much you're willing to spend to get your house ready to sell. Then you've got closing fees, which are anywhere from one to 3% of the sale price. These feeds include the do that one more time, delete that one. These fees include the title transfer. The Oh man, that, I'm gonna see, here's, here's where I'm making a mistake. I'm gonna scroll this down just a little further, right? So now I'm gonna be more prepared to read these words. <laughs> these fees include title fees, transfer or excise taxes, escrow fees, recording fees, and prorated property taxes. Again, many of these fees and their amounts depend heavily on your specific location and circumstances. So reach out to me if you'd like more information or a detailed breakdown for your property. Then you've got seller concessions, which can, again, vary greatly depending on the property, its location, and what the market is doing. These concessions usually take the form of home warranties, buyer closing costs paid by the seller, or simply reductions in the sales price. Oh, didn't mean to move myself there. Move my script. There we go.
These costs are heavily dependent on the market in which you're selling. If you're selling your home in a strong seller's market, there's a good chance you won't have as many concessions at all. And you may even get multiple offers. On the contrary, if you're selling in a buyer's market, your concessions may be more substantial. Generally speaking, just as a ballpark number, you can assume between 8 to 10% of the sale price will go towards fees and other costs. And once again, your specific situation will dictate the total cost you incur. Your real estate agent will provide you with that net sheet that line items these costs and can give you a more accurate perspective for your property. If you'd like more information about your house, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook and let's set up a time to learn more about how you'd stand to gain if you sold today. All right, so there we go, right? A couple little bumbles in there. Um, but I actually wanted to do that because I think it's important to understand that these videos don't need to be perfect, right? Um, I think that's something that is very, very important to understand here because you can obsess over this stuff. I've seen people do it way too many times and, and it can almost be debilitating, right? It can almost sort of completely derail you. I want to put a video out as long as it's done, right? As long as it's got my face on it, as long as somebody's going to start to recognize me as a result. That's all I really need, okay? Let's go ahead and polish this up just a little bit. So next thing we're gonna do is down here, we're gonna click on this check mark. So you're thinking you'd like to sell your house. All right, and that's gonna start playing the video over and over again, all right? So I don't necessarily want you to have to see that. We're gonna go ahead and do a couple more quick things here um, to make some adjustments to what we just created. Let me check the time. Okay, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up in about five to 10 more minutes. So we can do a lot to this video from here. Um, I'm just going to do a couple simple things, right? Obviously, you can spend as much time here as you want. First thing I want to do is let's go ahead and add a little bit of sound, a little bit of music. Now, I click on that sound button at the top. And one thing you want to make sure you do here inside of CapCut is switch to the commercial tab at the top. That, that gives you commercial rights, right? That means you can use your, your uh, video with this music in an ad. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go with this one here. This one's called This Is Not Funk. Uh, I listened to it earlier. It's, you know, relatively harmless music. It's a little bit of a little bit of funk kind of vibey uh, electronic music. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign there. And I don't know if you're hearing that on your end or not, but now that music is added with the primary problem being that it is too loud, right? So what do I have so far? I've got my video. I've got a background. I've got um, some music on it just to make it a little bit more interesting. We're going to do a couple more things before we wrap this up, right? So in the bottom left-hand corner, you see the edit button. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this takes me to the more complicated editing screen inside of CapCut. That's okay, but this can be kind of overwhelming if you're not careful, all right? So first thing I want to do is I'm going to click, I'm going to scroll over. You can sort of see I'm, I'm dragging my finger on the timeline at the bottom of the screen right now. All right, and you can see that as I scroll over here, um, we've got different clips, right? So remember how I recorded these um, as, as I went and I kind of stopped at the end of each of those clips. So the first thing I got to do is I need to clean up the recording, right? So I'm going to look at the very beginning here. I think that was fine. I'm not going to change the beginning. I'm going to scroll over. So as I get to the, the last word I said, right, right there, I'm going to click on the track. So now I'm selecting that particular track. I click this split button at the bottom. It cuts that piece off the end of the clip. And then I click delete, right? Next clip, I had that countdown and I was about to start talking. So let me let me just play this right here and see how it looks. All right, so I don't like how long that gap was. Again, general guideline right here. I'm gonna also click on this one, split that. And in this case, I'm gonna come back and, oh, didn't mean to do that. Let me click out of that. I'm going to actually take my fingers and drag it apart and make it a little bit easier to navigate, delete that, right? So now if we look at this transition, right, pretty clean, okay? So I'm going to do this quickly. Obviously, if you're a little newer to video, this is going to take you a few seconds more than it would take me. But let me just get this done for us real quick. And again, you know, I'm, I'm moving fast and we're doing this live, so... sort of taking these little pieces out as we go. And again, th this is th this little tip here, this idea, this kind of approach to uh, shooting a scripted video, I, I would definitely take note of it because this this has helped me a lot over the years. 
Nick, this is great. I think everybody is super tuned in, just following your step by step. Good. <laughs> yeah, and I apologize. I'm not able to sort of check the chat at the moment, but I will take a look at it later. I think we'll have some time for some Q&A as well, right? So I'm clicking these, splitting them out, getting rid of them. There's only a couple more clips. Should be done here in just a moment. And uh, you can tell I'm not listening to the clips as I'm doing this. I'm just looking at my my lips. Right? So I'm just looking at, at my mouth moving, and I'm using that to find where I want to cut. So this is this is really not that that hard to do, right? So you can you can imagine if you tried to record that entire. I've seen people do this, where they try to record the entire video in one take and they just do it over and over and over again. I used to do that, and I will tell you that that is that is probably great practice, but it is it is a good way to waste a lot of time. That's for sure. Let's delete that one. I think we're almost there. I also liked how you could hit back and delete the last segment. So I think breaking it up is super smart. All right, cool. So there we go, right? So now we got a clean one. Let's just look at this uh, transition. Actually, let me let me turn the sound down on the music next. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the audio is the right level. So I click on the music and I scroll over to where it says volume. And I like to drop my music down to like the 20 range. still a little bit loud to me so i'm going to bump it a little further right because i just want the music to be kind of a background sort of thing and then i also need to and i well yeah i'm going to go ahead and bump the well let me play this to see how i think it sounds for now makes sense but in order to calculate the profit you'll first need to estimate your all right so if you want you can also increase the uh audio from your video clips right like the volume on your voice Your first set of costs is your real estate agent's commission. And you see that transition now? So let me play that part again. A general guideline. Your first set of costs is your real estate Pretty clean, right? So that's just me clipping the beginning and end of that. And that makes it so much easier to record this stuff. So last thing I'm going to do here is let's go back to the beginning of the video. And if we look at the, uh, let's click out of that menu. If we look at this, the, the options here, uh, yeah, so there we go. If we go look at the options at the bottom of the screen, one of those is text, right? And so I'm going to click on text. I'm going to click on add text here. And then we're going to say, what does it cost to sell your home? All right. Now, if I want to add some... Uh, move those words down. I can click in here. I can hit return, All right? I can do that again. All right. And then we get a lot of questions about this. So I've got some text. I want that text to appear at the very beginning of the video. So let me drag that over. So it shows up right at the beginning. Now I can adjust it. I can put it over my chest here. And then if I click on that text box down there, I can also make some changes to it, right? So I can actually, let me just click on the little pencil icon on the text itself. And you can use all these, these pre-established ones. I've got some pro versions, right? So that one's kind of a pro version. Uh, this is this is free. I, I kind of like, I mean, obviously the pro versions, you're going to get some good ones in there. And then beyond this, man, you can click on styles uh, here. We can do, we can have a background, right? We can do that kind of stuff. I don't still think that looks great. We can do a shadow, right? So now we're throwing a bit of a, of a shadow in here. So the words pop just a little bit more. Right. We, you know, so again, I, you know, we could spend a lot of time on this, obviously. Um, let's see, go back to style. Style, I think, is also there. Where is it? Text presets. All right. There's a lot of things we could change in here. Oh, there it is. Size, right? So if I want to make it a little bigger. Okay. So there we go. Not bad. Right. Now, again, you can spend as much time as you want here, but we're, we're flying on this. So what does it cost to sell your home? All right. Not bad, right? You can go through, you can add more of those wherever you want. I want to get over to putting this up on Facebook. So we're pretty much done, right? We, I mean, just created a, a video ad from scratch. Now, is it perfect? No, 
but I think that's completely acceptable and often a good thing, all right? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click in the top right-hand corner. You see the little up pointing arrow? That's the export button, right? So I click on that and that's gonna render the video. I mean, you used to have to have a computer to do all this kind of stuff, right? I mean, even just a couple of years ago, a lot of what I'm doing on my phone was really not possible. Um, now it is, it's awesome, it's easy to do. Um, so we're gonna export this video and here we go. We got a two minute or so video that is, is polished, got music, it's got all the stuff edited on it. Um, and, and again, there's, you know, if we look at this, there's gonna be things I find wrong with it that I could come back and fix, but I wanna move on, right? So we're done with that. Um, now I need to get this over to Steven. He's going to take over and he's going to show us how to get this running as an ad. So last thing I want to show you while I'm still on my phone screen here is let's jump over to a site called WeTransfer. Again, this is another big question we get is how do I get stuff from my phone to my computer? Lots of ways to do it. I like this website. So if you go to wetransfer.com, you click on upload files. You can probably just click on media there. And there it goes. That's the video that I just exported. And I was gonna say, here's the ad. Click on next. We're gonna send an email. And then I'm emailing this over point, Steven. You should see that in your inbox here once I get that uh, confirmation code and get it over to you in just a second. Sounds good. Okay, who loved that? Give me like a thumbs up. This gives Nick some love. I mean, he did such a great job on that step-by-step. -step. That was cool. I learned a ton. Thank you, Nick. I actually really appreciated that you messed up, to be honest. The messing yes. up was one of the best parts because we're all going to mess up. And then we got to see exactly how to do it, how to make those little updates and uh, make those little fixes. So I'm cool. going to check my email here. I got to look for that message. It might just take a minute to come through. Yep, just uh, said it's uh, finalizing on the upload at the moment. So we got a couple sections for Q&A, but maybe we can do a short one now as I just grab this video. And so if you'd like, maybe just raise your hand. You know how to use the raise hand feature in here? Um, yep, yeah, okay, I see a little thumbs up, but if you, if you, if you if there's a little button at the bottom called reactions, I'll show you. You can kind of like raise your hand, I believe, raise hand, there it is. Um, okay, Susan, why don't you go ahead and uh, Ira, you can manage the Q&A just as I grab this video. Hey, thank you. That was really great. So um, one thing I noticed is you filmed it vertically and not horizontally. And mm -hmm. Facebook is horizontal and the ads on street text are horizontal. So why did you film it vertically? Uh, well, I mean, honestly, Facebook is is any format now. I mean, it's it's really one of those where, and, and Stephen, you can answer the the part about street text there. But um, we tend to do a lot of our advertising on mobile, uh, where people see the the vertical version of those videos. And there's there's so many places you can put this stuff now. I mean, put it inside of Reels, you can put it inside of the feed, inside of the Messenger stuff. I mean, there's just different kinds of ads. So yeah, I mean, you could shoot it either way. Um, we just decided to kind of go the the more trendy version, which is vertical. So I, I default mostly to shooting vertical anymore. Um, it also, and this, this is maybe a more compelling reason is that it makes your face a lot bigger and therefore it's a lot easier to see you. And that's how you build relationships, right? Is because people see your face and that's how they get to start to feel like they know you. Um, so Steven, I don't know if you have any other comment in terms of how the street tech side of things works, but yeah, and I'll actually, even the account that I'm about to show you, we'll show you some vertical videos too. So to echo Nick's point, I mean, you can do a whole bunch. Facebook's actually really good at taking that content and using it in different spots for different things. So, um, yeah, that's a great question, but, but not to worry, you can definitely shoot vertical. Okay. So you'll see here, here's the email that I had got from Nick. So just nice and simple came through the retransfer. And then I just quickly downloaded that. For those of you that are not familiar with Street Text, um, we make it really simple to run ads. We connect both to Instagram and Facebook. And so we've got a whole bunch of proven ads that you can deploy in seconds, but you can also run ads just like you saw right now that Nick created. So why would you wanna turn that into an ad? Well, there's so many reasons. Like that video that Nick just did is exactly what you want, either as a remarketing ad or to even go after some prospective sellers, because this changes the entire dynamic from people just seeing an ad and but they don't know who you are to suddenly starting to learn exactly who you are. By the time Nick walks into somebody's house, they've heard him, they've seen him, they probably like him already, right? So it completely changes the, 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 the dynamic. <clears throat> and a lot of the videos and the recipes that Nick has in his school 
you can actually take those into our system and you can even rotate them. So if we have time, I'll show that to you in a minute, but they're incredibly powerful. If you're not a part of this program, I highly recommend it because those of you that do video, especially in 2024, you're going to find getting seller leads just that much easier. And all the leads that you generate, you're going to warm them up just that much easier. So if you're in our launch ads tab here on the left-hand side, I've just gone ahead and I've hit video and that just narrows down all these video ads. Then all you're going to do is in this case, you have a couple of choices. I either want to do, um, so you're going to look for this either remarketing video ad, custom objective, or the custom video ad, custom objective. It's the same ad template. The difference is, is that one is going to go after new people. So if we wanted to say, uh, we wanted to run that, that uh, ad that Nick just made to say everybody in a certain area or city or whatnot, and you just kind of want it to go wide, which is totally a good strategy. Or if you want to run it more to your remarketing list. So maybe you already have a pretty big database of leads. Um, you know, you've got maybe even your past clients, maybe from years ago, and you just want to make sure that those people are seeing this video. Uh, or maybe you have a seller list that you just want to focus on. Then you're going to want to use this remarketing app here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit select. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is I downloaded that video already from the WeTransfer. So I'm just going to drag it over and click upload. And the system is going to upload it here on our end. And then we're going to send this off to Facebook. Um, and then they're going to send us a rendering back. So while this happens, it can just take a few minutes. I think this is a perfect opportunity for the next question. So Ira, if you're, uh, if you're still there, do you know who was next? Winner. I was a winner. Hi, winner. Yes. Great. So can you, where you went in and took out um, like split it and took out those spots. Can you use the transition? Um, I think that's what it's called. Where you on cap cut where I think it's called transition base or whatever it is, where if you paused or anything, it runs it through and takes out the pausing or if you messed up on a word or said a word twice, it takes it out or do you need to do it the way that you did it where you splice it? Yeah, so there are tools that do that, um, and like I said, CapCut's changing all the time. There, there might be a you saw those tools on the on the home screen when I started. There might be a version that will do that. I do know, um, for instance, I believe Descript does that. I believe Kapwing works that way. Um, that's fine. I mean, if if that's there, there's so many ways to do this, right? I like to split it up into those chunks because that way I can I can treat like two or three sentences like a whole script. And if okay. I want, I can, re I can read that section a couple of times before I hit record. Like I'm flying right now. Right. So this is like, you know, <laughs> this is about as fast as I can make a scripted video. Um, oh, if I had a little more time, I would probably do it that way. So uh, if you like that though, that's absolutely right. Like if you, if you prefer to just, just read it and then go and cut the ums and ahs out. My problem is it's not ums and ahs. It's that I like stumble over entire words so mm -hmm. I can't just remove that word, right? So in right. that case, I have to go right. back and re-record that segment. Um, but yeah, there, there's there's multiple ways to do this stuff. So okay. if you have another one that you like, that you're more comfortable with, that, that's all it comes down to, right? Is like, do I get the, is whatever gets the video done, I'm going to focus on. So, right, so okay. Yeah. And then I have one more question for like streak text real quick. Mm -hmm. So putting these, doing these videos like in place of, so say like the PDF remarketing, um, if you put that script up and do a video instead of that in the remarketing, is that something you would use um, this for as well? Can you? That was for Stephen, yeah, right? That was more for us. Like, is you saying use the script in here? Yeah, so say, you know, like the PDFs that you guys have for the remarketing yeah. um, and say we use one of those and that script that's on the PDF and do it to where it's a video. Is that something that we could use through street text as well for this? Oh, yes. Or, okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, I mean, you could do it either using our PDF ads the way they are today, or mm -hmm. you could do a video really on that PDF ad and even just talk about it and, and follow this exact same process that we're going through here. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the difference between the ads that we have pre-made the ones we've pre-made are essentially more generic because they're designed to be used by everybody. What I love about what Nick is showing all of you on here today is this is really the opportunity to take any sort of content and put your face with it and to make sure that people see you. And that is a game changer. And I mean, Nick can attest to this too. The reality is just most agents don't do it. 
So it, and it's because it's it's a bit to start and you know to get used to it. And I, I love that honesty of that comment earlier at the very beginning. Like I'm just afraid of you know putting my face out there and what I sound like. But I so encourage you to do it. It's so worth it, and uh, and you won't regret it once once you start. I feel like Nick's done a great job of breaking that down. So right. yeah, that thank question. you, thank you. And we'll get to some more here in just a minute. But just to make sure that we live up to our promise. I want to make sure that we get this in that 60 minutes and then we'll we'll have some more time for Q&A because I know some of you only have that much time. Um, so this is now a great opportunity where even in the recipes that Nick had, it included, if you remember at the bottom, it actually included exactly what you could even put in the ad. So this is a great spot to copy and paste, take exactly what he had here, and you can just put it right in here. Now, I don't have that directly where Nick, if you wanted to drop it super fast in the chat, I could copy it really quick in the Zoom chat. Sure. Yeah, let me grab it for you. I'll just copy it over. Another thing that you can do too, I mean, these tools are obviously popping up all over, just like Nick said, but you could even copy and paste exactly what's in Nick's description that he had. And if you wanted to just change it ever so slightly or let our system do it for you, this has a whole bunch of different copywriting styles built into it. And so when I, when I grab it here and I'll paste it, you can actually hit this remix ad copy and it will create, um, so it's a copy it. It, it will actually create, hopefully I can't copy it. Oh yeah, I can. Um, it will create like another version of it. I, I won't hit it right now, but it's super cool because even when it creates it, you can actually toggle back. So you don't lose it. You can actually go forwards and backwards with each change. Um, and so I'm just going to grab this first line out. I'm going to use that as my title as well. So again, you can customize that a little bit. Now, here's another thing that it gives you, and we didn't cover this in the... Um, the video itself, but I mean, I, I'm sure Nick will have a bunch of tools for this too. Canvas is a great one. Is that you can either grab one of these existing uh, thumbnails the system created for you, or you can just go ahead and you can upload your own. So you can upload a file. Canva is amazing for this. You can have a nice little template that you use. It's really quick and easy. You know, do a screenshot or just a photo of yourself, or maybe even just some text, um, you know, overlaid on Canva. It's a great tool to use, easy enough to add it on. So you can make that, you can change that, whatever you want. Then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit next. And now I get to optimize. Facebook will do a really good job of saying, are we gonna focus more on plays? Don't want a lot of people just to see the video and watch it. I might focus more on getting people that are gonna, that Facebook knows are more likely to visit my website after seeing the content. Or do I really want to get engagement? I wanna get some likes, comments, shares on this particular post. So you get to pick all those. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna focus on the engagement one here. And then you can send people wherever you want. Now, obviously, you'd be sent to your website. I'm just going to throw on streettext.com for a second for that. But literally, just like that, we're, we're now going to turn this into an ad. I'm going to click Next. This is where, because I picked the retargeting option, it's going to load in all of my different custom audiences on Facebook. And so if you did the, um, you know, the other template I showed you in this video, you could focus more on like an area or to generate new leads. But in this case, I want to focus on everybody that is part of my website engagement audience. And you know, if you're a street text user, you'll know how to do this. I wanna focus on all my leads, or maybe I wanna just do my seller leads if you have a, set, a separate list um, and so forth. You can see we have a whole bunch of different audiences here. So I'm gonna pick those two. You can even exclude people too. So you know, if you didn't want certain people to see the video, you could actually put that as a negative list in there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit, and hit next. We're so close to being done. I want this to go to Facebook and Instagram. Very easy to have your account linked up. If you don't, a little thing will pop up and show you how to do both. Definitely do both. It just drives the cost down. And why wouldn't you? You know, especially when I'm doing remarketing, some people are going to be on Facebook one day, some people are going to be Instagram the next. You want to target them both. I'm going to click next again. And this is one of the coolest things. You do not need to spend a ton of money behind this content. Now, the content that Nick has created here, you should also use this organically, right? Like this, some of this is going to be stuff you want to put on YouTube. You're gonna to wanna to put it in your social feeds, you know, you're gonna put it all over the place. The, some of the challenge around that is just gonna be, you, you know, when you create the content, um, hopefully people are gonna see it. It can be a little hard as you're building up your brand to get those eyeballs on it, but it's still worth doing because it will grow. The power of what we're doing right here is by putting a little bit of money behind it, maybe a dollar a day or $2 a day, I'm gonna go ahead and hit deploy. We're making sure that Facebook is going to guarantee that your content gets seen. And even better than it's going to guarantee it's going to get seen, it's going to get shown to the people that you care about most. And in that case, I'm focusing on my entire Facebook engagement audience, everybody that's in my sort of Facebook ecosystem, and then also my entire lead list. 
And so that's truly the power of when you put it, a little bit of money behind it. Again, you can turn these ads on, off. I'm gonna show you if we have a minute here, just how you can even put them in a, in a rotation. But in essence, as simple as that, we did it in 60 minutes, Nick. You created a video. Uh, this deploy is hopefully gonna just be done in a second here. We took it the whole way through. There it is. We did it, 11.59. Nice. And the video is live. I'll show it to you a second, even on Facebook. I'll show you how it comes and it loads up in the account. But I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. And so it's done. Um, hmm. So maybe what I'll do, it'll just take a second to load this right here. Uh, but you'll start to see that even this is going to start showing up. It'll take a second to load. It always takes one minute to come in here. So I'll come right back. But what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to go to the ad bundles. So on Street Text, if you click on ads, go to ad bundles here. Um, I've got this testimonial bundle I already created. Again, you can create as many bundles as you want. What's the purpose of a bundle? Well, you can see here, we had these amazing, amazing testimonials coming in. And I wanted to just throw them in an ad bundle to these different audiences. And each one of them is set at like $1.50 a day. This one's at $2 a day. This first one was at $1.50 a day. It looks a little bit different because I put a Canva thumbnail in there. And I'm gonna have them rotate. So this one's gonna be running right now. And then you can see in six days, cause I got them set to weekly. This one is gonna, that one's gonna turn off and this one's gonna automatically turn on. This is really powerful if you're creating a lot of video content that Nick is showing you and you wanna make sure that it gets seen, but you don't want say 10 videos with $2 each and you're spending 20 bucks a day. You still wanna spend a dollar or $2 a day. This allows you to rotate that content through, being in front of the people that matter most and literally you will hear over and over and over again, I see you everywhere, right? And that's really the goal for this, for just literally $1.50 or $2 a day. So you can see here the video, the, probably the screenshot won't show up yet, but if I click add more ads, yeah, you can see it here. This is what I just created with Nick. We have to wait from Facebook just to get this image back for the video because it's a video ad. So don't worry that it doesn't show it to you. I click, I select it, I click add to bundle. And we have now included this video that Nick just helped us create. It's going to be right here. It's going to update this image once it's there. Okay, so hopefully everybody enjoyed that, found that super, super helpful. I just want to put a big shout out to Nick again for joining us on this call. Um, he put up that QR code if you need to see it again, but I would definitely check out uh, his program. It makes it super easy to get videos. And now, just as we're at the end of the time, we can open it back up to Q&A, and hopefully my video will show up. I'll share it again in a second. But I think, uh, Susan, you're up next. Thanks, Stephen. So will this only work if you have um, retargeting through straight text? Um, great question. But no, you can, use, you can use that exact same process using the video options without retargeting. So the only retargeting is only there if you want to run the retargeting specific ads. I did it th that way this time, but there's another version right there that you can run that's just to um, like to the greater area, which is also a really good strategy. In fact, we have a lot of agents that do more like content, just like Nick created, where they, they sort of put a bunch of content out that's super helpful, educational, kind of to the wider masses. And then when leads start coming in, they then show those people the home value ads, as an example, on the calls to action. Because it's a great way, it's just a reverse funnel, if you will, but it's another great way of doing it. So yeah, you can definitely still use it. Just saw a question about the QR codes. I put it on the screen again, but uh, just a heads up everybody, if, if you do want a, a chance to do a free trial with us, um, we don't always open that and we typically don't include a discount with it. So if you do want access to the trial and you do want the 30% off, um, definitely text us right now because you probably won't see that again. Uh, I'm not saying you won't, but you know it's not not something we share on a regular basis. We also technically did not have a trial open. We opened it back up uh, for today and tomorrow. So just quick uh, quick uh, reminder: just text the word trial, just that word T R I A L to three one four two seven four six six four nine. If you scan the QR code on your phone, it will open it on your on your phone automatically with that text uh, pre filled in for you. Nick, I will share my screen one second again too. I am so excited. It just took a minute, but I have to there do it to the end here. <laughs> there it is. There's that one of five that we created. It just took a little bit for Facebook to grab it and uh, bring it up. So there we go. Awesome. Makes me feel better. One more question. Is um, three minutes like the maximum length or is there... Not, not for us. Um, I believe the tool that Nick was using, CapCut, had a three minute maximum probably for its editing. But um, there are other tools out there where you can even shoot a video even on your phone if you want it. 
And uh, we use a tool called Descript a lot, which is really helpful as well for like doing some of the editing. So yeah, there's no limit. We have like, I think like a two gigabyte limit when you're uploading a video, which is a big one. That's yeah. like a movie, full length movie. So I, yeah, you won't, you won't hit any limits on our side. Thanks. Yo, can I just share a win? Yeah, please. Yo, please. since I started, we got 4,000 views in 30 days, bunch of leads retargeting. And one of my clients last week got retargeted. She signed up and I was telling my mom today, <laughs> like, I'm just trying to figure out if the leads are going to be better for me or retargeting. Because if you already have a good flow, obviously I want new leads, but man, it's kind of tricky to get new leads. And with the videos, any suggestions how to maybe send out a new post today to be able to get fresh leads, man. So is that more pressure for me then? Uh... Well, because we're talking about video, should it, because I know the video is new to Street Text. Have you guys seen that play out more with the leads lately? Or are you still seeing that the regular Street Text ads are still performing better than the video? You, you mean, the way I kind of look at it, first off, Manny, that's awesome. And also, thank you. I, I saw that one of the videos I was even showing there was, was from you, from a testimonial. So thank you. Um, I always, you know, the, the reality is, is that for most people just getting started and launching ads can be a bit daunting. And so we have all of those great ads that work. Our, but our system is also super smart where it automatically ranks ads to the top that are performing the best. So I would say lean on those and go back to them whenever you, you run into problems because our ads work. That's why they're there. But as you start to get more familiar with the system, you should 100% start trying more content, exactly like what we created today. You should take versions of the ads that we have, and you should make something that's completely unique for yourself. <clears throat> but if the performance falls off, just go back to the other ads. Plus, we have a customize option too. You'll notice that in Street Text, where if you go down the ads, you'll notice that on a number of them, there's a customize. And that actually allows you to use AI to make a version for yourself that's different, which is really, really powerful. So you can take some of our best performing ads and make like a, a unique to Manny version that nobody else has out there. And those ones tend to do pretty well because we're taking something that already worked and we're making a slight variation on it. Um, and it tends to work pretty good. Um, and then in terms of just video content in general, I would just say the more you create, the better. Um, and you'll start noticing that some of your videos you create will get more engagement than others. And then, so the ones that do better, you can put more budget behind them and they'll probably do better for lead gen um, in time. Thank you for that. No, you're welcome. Any other, we're, we're 11 minutes over. I just want to again, thank everybody for all the time. We'll probably close it in just like a minute or two here. Any other burning questions? You're all still here. You got Nick, you got me. Any other questions? No. I'm going to recommend oh. it for people to get off the trial period and just sign up, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, Manny. Appreciate that. I'm glad you're having so much success. Okay. So once again, thanks everybody for being here. I hope that you just love that. Nick did such a great job. Uh, so we'll get that recording out. If you've been requesting, I saw it a ton in the comment section. Nick, just a big, big thank you for giving your time up today. And um, yeah, have, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll get that recording out shortly. Awesome. Thanks.